boys and girls. Today I'm going to try to restore, I'm just going to call it restore, this old DSM distribution block. So I'm going to take it apart, kind of go step by step how I do things. Um, yeah, don't have to do it this way, but if you want to, stay tuned. All right, so the first thing you got to do is very carefully take this case off. There are four plastic tabs down here that have a tendency to break whenever you try to take these cases off. So let me see if I can get in here. Hopefully it'll zoom in for you folks. So these little tabs have a tendency to break. So you want to be very careful when taking this off. Next step, we're going to remove these. So what I do is on the back here, I got a bunch of Velcro. So I'm going to take my razor blade like this. And then I'm going to very carefully feed it underneath here until I can pull the Velcro. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our screwdriver and we are going to remove these screws off of the back. These usually aren't very tight, so it's not really a huge concern about having to break them or anything. What I do is I use one of these little magnetic um, screw holders to keep all the stuff in. So we take out this other screw. And whenever you do that, this part comes out. So we'll set this aside. Go ahead and finish taking these out. And these screws are all the same size, so you don't have to worry about mixing and matching. So as you can see, they're just held in with each one of these screws. So we're going to finish taking these out. All right, now that we have them all out, these here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and since this has a bunch of sticky stuff on the back of it, I'm going to use some Goo Gone on here and see how that works to come off. Then I'm going to take this inside, and I'm going to wash it in the sink with soapy water, and I'm going to use a toothbrush a soft toothbrush and I'm gonna scrub this on the inside as you can you might be able to see it's dusty in here down along the bottom same thing down in here so we're gonna clean this all up get this real clean and we'll start working on the other pieces all right so <clears throat> we have the the back of the case cleaned up or the the plastic case so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take all of these screws out and we want to pay attention that, hopefully this will zoom in. If you see this part here, right there, there's a little opening and this side is flat. So we want to make sure that those openings are going to be going towards the power side. So we're going to take these out. Once again, just take our screwdriver, pop it in there. All of these screws are the same size. So it does not matter, dinner time, it does not matter where these screws go. So go ahead and take these out and we'll go from there. Now this is where you guys may disagree with me on this. And I took these grub screws out by the way. Um, what I do is I will use two brass bottle brushes. And then I will go in here and I will clean these out I will clean out the threads and then I'll use the larger one to go over it in a drill just to clean this up. So for those of you that say, well, you shouldn't do that. That's not good on the, the, uh, the brass or the gold. Well, here's the thing. These are soft. This is soft. It's not going to scratch anything up. So I'm going to take this. So we're going to do half of it. So you probably can't see but it's starting to clean up. And once most of this is off, what I'll do is I'll take some mother's polish and then I'll go over it and I'll polish it all up. So I'll finish this up real quick and then we'll come back. All right, so next what I'll use is some Ma mother's mag polish. Uh, this is very old. This thing's been in the heat. This thing is, yeah, it's not, not very good. So, I use a little bit of this on the top. Let me get rid of this garbage stuff here. 
then we'll just do this as an example. So you can kind of see, I got my fingerprints on it. We're gonna take our polish. I'm just using a paper towel here. We're gonna polish this up. We're gonna do the top side. You can see that it's working. So we're just gonna take this, flip this around. We're gonna come back and we're gonna wipe this off. Make sure you get it all the way off. And there you go. You can see there's a flaw in the, the uh, plating here. But normally what I do whenever I get down, see I keep putting, keep putting polish on it because I need to get a different paper towel. Uh, what I do normally is I'll wear gloves whenever I polish this part and then go from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to polish this whole thing up. And I'm going to take each one of these blocks. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to polish these up as well. I'm going to take all these grub screws out and I'm going to end up cleaning them up as well. Same thing with these. With these, what I do is I'll take the smaller brush here and I'll run it in back and forth with the drill and I'll clean up here as well. And then I use the bigger one, the bigger bottle brush on the outside and it'll polish it up. These typically I don't use mother's polish, polish with. I just do the actual block parts. So I'll get everything polished up and then we'll start putting things back together. All right, and as you can see, we made a, made a mess. Um, I found out that using a motorized toothbrush actually works pretty good to polish these. So everything is polished up, nice and clean, nice and shiny, except for that little bit right there. Boop, boop, boop. So everything's nice and polished up. Our case has been washed with soapy water. We've used Goo Gone on the back and we have removed all of the sticky adhesive that was on the back. So next comes the assembly part. So first what I do is I just start with this piece here and everything kind of fits into place. And then those are gonna attach with the two screws in the back. And then we will get it all together and then we'll do a finished cleanup. So we'll be right back. Okay, so now we got our blocks or our terminals back on. So now we have to put the clip, I'm gonna call them clips, back in place. And remember, like I said before, this piece here goes to the back. So this is gonna go like this. And then on each one of these, the opening is gonna go towards the back down here. So we'll get these put in. These are simple, simple to put in. We're just gonna use our screws that we took out and we're going to put them back in place. So take one of these, make sure that it is lined up. Take your screw. And it will fit right down inside there. Just hold it in place so it doesn't spin and give it a good snug tight. Now these, what I do, is before I get done, and actually get done with everything, I will loosen it up a little bit and make sure that they are perfectly straight. So we're gonna do that for the rest of these, and then we're gonna work on the case. So I'll finish this up, and then I'll show you what I do for the case to bring it back. All right, we got everything back together. Let me get this out of the way here. As you can see, everything is nice and shiny. Nice and polished up. Like I said, I do wear rubber gloves for like putting it together part. So the next problem is gonna be this case. This case is not very clear. Just kind of, you know, it is, it is what it is. Hold on, sorry. My phone battery popped up, says it's low. So I hope it recorded that. So we're gonna work on this next. What I do is I wash it off with water, soapy water, and then I clean it up. And then I use some 
uh, headlight polish on this. I use it on the inside and I don't really use it on the outside unless it really needs it, but a good cleanup will take care of this. So let me go clean it up real quick and we'll come back and take a look at it and see the before and after. All right, so we got it washed up and it does look better than it did before. But what I use is this stuff here. Um, Mother's Plastic Polish, it's for headlights. This stuff works pretty good on anything plastic. It doesn't have to be just for headlights. Uh, what I do is I make sure you mix it up really good. And then I'll take a piece of paper towel once again. And a lot of you guys are going to say, well, paper towel is really abrasive. Why would you want to use that? Well, because it's cheap and it's what I got. So I'll take some of this. I'll go ahead and I'll put some eh, about like that in the middle. Then I'll just go ahead and I'll polish it. So I'll take this, I'll go around in circles. And what the headlight polish actually does is this will actually, um, from what I understand, it's supposed to lubricate or whatever the plastic or add moisture back into the plastic. I don't know. There's science involved stuff that I don't know nothing about. So once we get this pretty much done, we're going to work on the sides here because we got plenty in there. Let's scrub it this way. I'm going to put just a little bit more. Just a tiny bit. So we'll take this, go ahead and massage it in there, I guess you can say. Then we'll come over here. We'll do the same thing on this side. Then, I'm going to go ahead and use this rag and find a clean part. Then we're going to take this and we're going to come back and go over this. And we're going to buff this out. And I'm not sure if you're supposed to let this dry or not. Um, I don't let it dry. I just put it on and then take it off. Go ahead and do this other side here. And it is hot in my garage, okay? So I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Every time that I edit the video or pause it, I turn my fan on and it cools me off, but dang, it's hot out here. So we got this all done. As you can see, it's not going to be perfect. So can you see me in there? Hello, there's my reflection. That's my face. So not going to be perfect. I'll probably go through, and this is slippery, by the way. Um, I might go through and I might do the top of this. But um, yeah, whenever we come back, or I come back, I'll show you the finished product. Everything will be done. So stay tuned. All right, time for the finished product. So we have our distribution block which is nice and clean. Everything is cleaned off. If you remember, we got the uh, sticky stuff off the back. That's a little bit of polish there. Sticky stuff off the back, nice and clean. We have our cover that we ended up using some of our mother's headlight polish on. So we'll go ahead and pop this back on here. Don't want to break this. There we go. And there we go. We have ourselves a nice cleaner almost new no not really but um yeah looks a lot better than it did uh this is one that i cleaned up also a while ago so sometimes whenever you clean them up like this one it looks not quite as goldy looking but this one's been sitting out here for a while after a little bit they kind of have that gold color comes back so but these are both cleaned up ready to go so yeah, hopefully the video helped you guys out a little bit. If not, hey, you know, thanks for watching. Um, otherwise, these are not for sale. I do collect these. So hopefully, like I said, it helped you out. Taking these apart is not a big deal. Um, it's just screws, and that's it. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, feel free to drop them down below. Like always, think about subscribing, and have a good one.